Hello. How you doing? Hope you have a fantastic day. Hello to all my friends out there and subscribers, non subscribers, trolls, lurkers, bots alike. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Just share this one quickly with you. The mystical body of Satan, what you need to know. Twentieth of march twenty nineteen. The world intelligence has its roots in commerce as the stakeholders to the corporations move to gain advantage in deals and contracts they intend to take part, or they wanted to manipulate all parties concerned to their own advantage. This was achieved through holding a big base of the present and future of the assets on the table about to be traded. The masters of commerce must, therefore, also understand to be the masters of data. Commerce is a parasitic instrument that levies cost, fees, taxes on what is a simple trade between one or more parties. Revenue is generated out of thin air and becomes an addition on top of simple exchanges, benefit, benefiting none of those involved in the trade itself. The study. For such a huge revenue collect, uh, position the beneficiaries to of commerce with the huge fortunes that they would use to subvert nations in order they could take over in the political through holding the coin. Though, then though, the secret, they would produce war, furthering the indebtedness of the nation state to the masters of commerce through credit of banks from which they could subvert them to expand their fortune by having the state indebted and the public as liable for that debt launching tax all out assurity and that goes back to your strong man account that's created when you're born. Thus they have a system that continually removes huge chunks of revenue from the pot of nation and their own hands through the parasitic benefits offered by commerce protected and enforced by a legal system. Health and safety is a prime example how body corporate paralyzes all private trade through the rules of their contracts in commerce giving the same command of the entire system through cost. The legal title is the yoke of your enslavement. They would then buy into all aspects of nat nation's culture, mythos, education, religious and historical, also the media outlets to ensure everything was presented the same script to the masses in order they can change the culture to the image of their own creed while the natives, after only a couple of generations, believe the fiction to be true. Enter the Institute for Human Relations. For the entrance of, it was through science that the masters of the earth made headway into the aristocracies uh, of nations. This can be studied from an understanding of the royal society. After the, the amalgamation of various pseudoscience networks, the power held and hidden within the secret, they merged into to head the agenda of social engineering across the world. Through the 1920s, as blues and swings were merged, they realized the perfect mechanic for the introduction of Satan into high society. Calling it a diabolic disorder was the name of the game on top of drugs and dope. This would open the door to a bit breach of morality as impurity and all that goes with it was thrust into the highs of the English society. From the Hotel Cecil, they would spread the new found debauchery into the heart of the American masonry onto the campus. So this would open the door to the Frankfurt group and the Macy conferences from which would spawn the programs in order that the chemical and celebratory culture could undermine Christendom and the leading them astray and away from the influence of father and mother leading to the discontinuation of the nation's heritage achievable already as stated in only a few generations. I will leave the link in here for you to click and check it out if you want to. The above information is a part description of the physical platform that it internationally creating a global prison for everyone. But of course you must never take my word for it. Just look out la 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 and you'll see it in all its glory. When you at the basic premise that it's because the four, the demonic realm has influence into our material body only that from that position they pull you closer to the jewel. If you accept their call, you become a possessed creature. You have your own soul and spirit from having access to your earthly existence. You therefore curse your life. The following information, but from the perspective of the spiritual, 
If we are to understand our current situation correctly, in its essential, it is essential that we see and comprehend how it plays out on the physical and spiritual realms. Only then do we have the required grammar to remove ourselves from its grip. The marriage of Salem and Lilith, known as I, yeah, I'm not sure. So, reading it for the first time, or Satan or other god, Satan and his Gentiles. Satan, also known as Bezalbub, is the demon of impurity. His realm is himself, and therefore all nations are found within it. When Satan enters your nation, based entirely on the amount of immorality being projected back into the world, you will know it by its faults, uh, fruits. You will not know its true intent by listening to its deceptive words, nor by reading its false texts. Only deception is born from a fact dealing with, with the secret call for liberalization and the rights thereof. When Lucifer, who wants to be the god, they write a false te text that is offered to man. Once the script is taken up as a theology or a culture, the foundation is in place on which is to be constructed the mysto mystical body of Satan. The new god is Lucifer. No, not for me, sorry. Directly beneath Satan stands five generals. Baal, um, another demon of impurity, also known as Melech, Moloch, or Lord, has the role of encouraging cultures to fall through formication, today cl known collectively as pornography used to the perfection in encouraging free love. With the false doctrine that comes forth is today what we call pseudoscience, from which is born all authority to oppose natural law. An example of which is the shift of focus in the meaning of copulation from its position of being a sacred act between two people to birthing, which, of course, is the means to the continued race or nation. It is the, into an act that is being seen as nothing other than a recre recreational event. This they call free love, which is a huge dis Free love costs your family everything. As you begin to destroy your family line through letting go of natural law, that is nurturing and care, everyone wants to be it. When that stage is achieved within a nation, it opens a door to scientifically authorized use of contraception, the fruit of which is a sterile relationships. And the second step is in having a race nature, nation cease to reproduce itself. A dark intent marked as right and presented a benefit, benefiting in a more evolved humanity. That is what eugenics is all about, folks. When that stage has been achieved, it opens the door for the third step and in the indoctrination of the next three demons into its hierarchy and in speed up the road to the end of the race. Through the following, only now the liberator science, the demons in question are the demon of homosexuality in men that are more to the feminine aspect of the male, Leviathan, the demon of homosexuality aspect and moves to drag them into the creed, the result of sterile relationship, another step in killing your race, but it's a scientific right if it's not. I thought that was sucky, but they were. Um, Lilith is a demon of female homosexuality, the seductive aspect of the creed, the result is a sterilization, a seduction she works across the others, but is twisted form seduction, what we call lust. Having almost closed the door on reproduction of your race, there remains only one more step to fulfill in the creation of mystical body of Satan within a nation, which ritual to be made to their new god, that's the highest physical expression of worship. This we know today as sides child sacrifice in all its horrid forms. For the mystical body of Satan to fully manifest as a power requires the satanic sacrament. This opens the door to the Baphomet, sacrifice, abortion, suicide, euthanasia for the high priest of this theology, outright murder of the children in their rituals. Once the state of affairs is in motion, this allows for the enforcement of all bombings if it was the law. However, this law of which they speak is a law issued by judge. Judges, dog law, seen in use of dog Latin, today a heinous and example of just such an abomination that comes after the sacrifice of an innocent has taken place. Through the fact you depend 
on the food supplied by the supermarket, they have forced eating of flesh of these sacrifices through the ingestion of processed foods in which they have introduced cells of aborted fetuses. You are a race eating a sacrificial flesh of aborted infants. This world looks on. Circumcision is a blood rite. It traumatizes a child which opens the door to demonic. The perpetrator of the deed then uh, this is just disgusting. I apologize for this. I haven't read this yet, but this does happen. And drinks the blood of the child and what they call oral. It is forbidden to drink the blood of a living being in the Nahuatl law, yet and every and even Muslim suffer this ritual. It's horrible. Conclusion. Without self-responsibility, the only direction while dancing to this theology is down on the spirit barrel. This applies to you as a sentient being and collectively as a nation. If you do not understand the script under which you are acting, you do not comprehend the decisions you are making and the final results you are going to create. So be you religious or re be religious by any stretch of it, neither of the above two formats, which of course are describing the same instruments, is conductive to moral law. Can you see it now? The fallen, this fallen agenda needs to be turned around quick smart. A failure to take responsibility now will imprison your spring to terror. You are only to comprehend. A of the facts comes before we build the road to redemption of the self. This report has been given you the facts. If we move to judge only ourselves, we cease being the judge of another when the change occurs. When you study this information as it presents to the same instrument, you can see how the satanic system has been thrust into nations. It is through the obsession with the economy, which is the very machine which we are supposed to oppose, that we find all aspects of governance. Or we fail to ask who the people are demanding your vote as to it relates to who they are and what they represent when elections come a calling. A worthy effect is to recognize them and cease acting in an act that has your death, both temporal and spiritual. It is only a maximum. At MM, another form of lust is represented in the Valkyrie or Norse mythology. The form of a woman can be said to represent the opposite lust of a male, that of sex, for the lust of war, in many cases, a war at the behest of a woman. Notes. 1. Bandham, when speaking to make law, call it dog law, he describes it thus. Do you know how they make it? Just as a man makes law for his dogs, when your dog does anything you want to break him of, you just wait until he does it, and then you beat him for it. <gasps> no. This is the way you make laws for your dogs, and this way judges make laws for you. And me, nevertheless, we're all supposed to know the law, and likewise, you are all supposed to know the Bible. 2. Bow, Lord. The name appropriate to the principal male god of the Phoenicians. It is found in several places in plural Bow Lamb, Judges 2, 11, 10, 10, Kings 1, 18, 18, Jeremiah 2, 23, Hosea 2, 17. Baal is identified as moral in Jeremiah 19.5, it is also known to the as Baal Emperor, Numbers 25.3, Deuteronomy 4.3, was worked till the time of Samuel 1, Samuel 7.4, and afterwards the religion of the ten tribes in the time of the Arab 1 Kings 16.31-33, 1 Kings 18.19, 1 Kings 18.22. It prevails also for the time in the kingdom of Judah, 2 Kings 8.27, uh, Comp. 11, 18, 16, 3, 2 Corinthians 28, 2, till finally to put an end by the severe discipline of the captivity of Zephaniah 1, 4, 6. The priests of Baal were in great numbers, 1 Kings 18, 9, and in various cases 2 Kings 10, 19. They made their offering sacrifices as described in 1 Kings 18, 25 to 29. The sun god under the general title of Baal our Lord was the chief object of worship of the Canaanites. Each locally had its special bow, and the various local bows were summoned up on the name of Baal, Am, or Lords. Each bow had a wife who was colourless reflection of himself. Pages from 
1901 Jewish Babylonian Tamilat on Bao. So you can click, check out the link for yourself. I, um, they say that's what the word means, but, you know, I've heard, heard people say that, um, you know, Abed is actually to the sun god and uh, Akhenaten, that's what I heard, and there are so many conflicting stories of what's what's, but that's where you need to put that aside, it's irrelevant, don't let it distract you and, you know, put you onto a different path that you're not quite ready for, or it, it shouldn't matter, just like, it's with a matter of different topics, you shouldn't let it get you back up and say, no, I'm not going to listen or, or look into that because of that, you should really just put your differences aside and take in that wisdom that you're going to learn from it. So the note of the commandment, do not kill. The Jews, ca Jews changed this commandment to do not murder a few. The change was announced in the church mass, which suggested it had been installed into a Vatican. First five books of the Torah were originally given in three languages. Adultery, punishments of stoning and burning, the use of deception on the real identity of our father and see how it relates to non-Jews. So anyway, if you're still here with me at the end, thank you very much for watching and I apologize if some of that affected you. Um, it's on my attention. It's the first time I read it to you. So wherever you are in the world, thanks for watching. You raise your vibrations and uh, much love and you have a fantastic day. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night. Bye.